Okay, hey, welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. Today I have a really cool update for you from the brand Urban Survival Gear. You guys might recognize these pens, especially the one at the bottom as it is the latest version of the TI Scribe. Um, I think even kind of renamed as the TI Scribe Go. This is the full size titanium, but above is actually a very special sprint run that is currently unfortunately no longer available. My reason to share this video with you guys is because I want you to know that these types of sprint runs exist and you should be looking out for them in the same way that you get excited about a sprint run of a special knife. Now some of you are hearing the term sprint run and it's not resonating at all but some of you more on the EDC side of the house will recognize that as special runs that manufacturers will do for limited times um, in terms of special configurations um, for typically like a pocket knife or something like that. In this case, you're getting a really cool, special, a little bit more premium uh, version of an already kind of premium classic EDC pen uh, from Urban Survival Gear. A little bit about their brand, they're a custom pen maker with an eye for sleek, minimalist designs. Now, uh, in terms of key common characteristics and design language for a custom pen, you're gonna want that unique design language and you're gonna want some fun, fidgetable actuation and then of course premium materials and construction. Now above, you're gonna see the Stonewall Limited Edition which is in full titanium and also within the full size. Now in terms of the Stonewall, it's a real world image which is really great and it's a CNC engraved uh, you know, pretty much picture on a pen. The image is actually from um, a spot in Italy and it was hand drawn, uh, then CNC machined into the grip. Now no two stones that you're seeing are alike, hence the name Stonewall. This is kind of their first take into an extra premium offering where they go even tighter in terms of those machining tolerances. Um, and you will definitely feel the difference once you get these in your hand uh, and put it against the standard. And you know, as somebody who has quite a good amount of experience with all of these, I will say that they're so nice as standard, um, it's probably a little bit harder to tell the difference uh, just because their newer models are just that much more outstanding than their previous iterations, uh, which I think is great. And then it's an American made product, which I can always stand behind. So with all that said, let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, get this in hand and take a closer look. All right, now before we jump right into here, quick wristwatch check. I got my Archimedes Outdoor Chronograph fully hardened stainless steel case and bracelet uh, made in Germany, mechanical, just fantastic. I did want to share this with you guys. Definitely check the channel for the full review. This is absolutely something that I think appeals to those of you that want something like a pen like this that are big into kind of EDC and everyday carry uh, where you really value, um, you know, function sometimes uh, even more over form and sometimes it's a luxury within its capability um, and not necessarily luxury associated with just a brand name and some good marketing. Now in terms of sprint runs, an example of a sprint run of a knife would be this Chris Reeve Sabenza 31. Now if you've been excited about the small Sabenza and the Sabenza 31 release in general, you'll know that you can't currently order them with an Insingo blade shape. This is actually from Sprint Run. They released with an Insingo blade shape and then also a monochromatic uh, finish in terms of the thumb stud and uh, the uh, standoff here, which is fantastic and is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, so I was really thrilled when this came out. I think the one thing is I probably would have preferred it in S45 uh, VN steel. This is just S35 but still very nice, made in the good old US of A in Idaho. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Look at the tolerances. And it's a great parallel to this pen because I will say that there are a lot of things in common uh, produced in the US, original, uh, you know, pretty much iconic design within the genre. And then um, when you get to that level of, you know, craftsmanship, you do have to sit back and appreciate this thing. Now, for those of you that are just coming here straight up for a pen review, um, you may be disappointed because uh, the 
the refill that's in here is just a standard Pilot G2, so I'm not going to be showing you how a Pilot G2 performs. There's a million channels out there um, and videos where you could see that. This is really more about what's encasing. So when we think about it, right, um, this watch has a, a Valju 7750 movement in it, uh, which is a Swiss made mechanical movement. Uh, but it's more so about what's in, uh, you know, what's outside. Um, but then it does have a very standard mechanical movement inside. Very similar here, very standard in terms of the internals of what you'll be writing with. So really no reason to get too deep into that, probably in the same way that uh, it's fine that this has an enclosed case back because it's not some crazy work of art type of movement. It's more of a workhorse and you're getting that here. Now, uh, at a glance, some of the, the, I mean, really the main difference you're gonna notice is the grip pattern. Here, very minimalist and stark, uh, even quite iconic. I love the contrast of the dark versus the bright polish there. Um, but here you're getting even more contrast. And every one of these stones, again, is, is an individual stone in terms of its design. It's not a pattern that's wrapped. So you are going to get some nice, and then the nice thing is guys, it ties in form and function, that balance. Although the form factor is fantastic, you're also getting more functionality because now you're getting a bit more grip space away from, you know, just your standard uh, kind of uh, dark wash finish that you're going to have here in that tumble. Now you're going to have a little bit more grip there, uh, a different pattern of grip versus here, um, which, you know, absolutely suffices. And I love the way it looks. But man, there's something very, very special about this. Now, to the naked eye, uh, that's pretty much going to be the main difference here, guys, is going to be the grip. But, um, you know, when you really get into the fine details here, guys, this thing is just something else. Check this out as well. Look at that made in and then you can see the state of Texas right there very cheeky um, you know I've met a lot of great Texans in my time when I was in the Marine Corps and I hope they considered me one of the good Californians um, but man this thing is just gorgeous I mean it was already a looker but then you have something like this again it's just it's special right it's it's special in the same way that having a Sebenza 31 with an Insingo blade is special and it's of course it's special to the right person um, and it's not going to be for everybody not everybody wants to spend a hundred bucks on an all titanium pen and not everybody wants to spend 120 bucks on a sprint run of an all titanium pen but i will say guys if you're gonna do it my goodness does has there ever been a reason to um what's wild is that there are even more expensive pens that are out there that aren't made out of full titanium that aren't machined to this tolerance in in the United States that don't have a tip that is so stable and such a tight tolerance that it is extremely steady and capable and just feels fantastic that don't have this level of fidget factor or form factor or engineering that goes into pretty much a fully in-house design and execution. I mean, apart from the ink that goes inside of there, this is all designed from the ground up. And I have to say, look at that little knurling there. It just catches the finger. And the crazy thing is that this brand, you know, Urban Survival Gear, they're out there refining their tooling, refining their designs all the time so these iterations they just get better and better definitely check my channel for kind of the full breakdown of you know the previous and how all uh, you know this integrated milled clip and this bolt action have changed over the years because it's really quite ingenious so i did want to share this with you guys uh not just for the pen collectors out there but also for the knife guys and also for the watch guys because again uh, there's just something about having that luxury in capability, the premium build, the fit and the finish. There's, it's the same thing with a mechanical watch. Look at the bevels on these pushers for the Chronograph. 
I mean, it takes a certain personality type to appreciate those little things or the balance on this dial or the, op the use of open space, um, the minimalist approach that they took. It takes a certain personality type to appreciate something like that for a pen as well. And I have to say, guys, this thing is just, oh. It's just a uh, next level. I, I just absolutely adore this. I love what this brand is doing. Left-handed, hence watch on the uh, on the right wrist. The funny thing is when it comes to knives, um, I, and well, most things, uh, I'm actually right-handed except for writing and drawing. Um, but uh, this is just fantastic, guys. So if you have any questions, feel free, uh, or definitely check out the full review of these lines of pens uh in general but yeah i don't i don't want to get too off topic guys uh this thing is fantastic the the specs are there again if you want the full review check that out in the uh channel history but for now let's just enjoy how glorious this thing is finished and designed and some of you might be seeing it and go oh that's not really for me i prefer this the minimalist yeah you know what i prefer it too i like it too but uh when it you know being a collector of knives and pens and and flashlights and all that uh you really get to appreciate uniqueness and uh you know the execution on a theme and that even goes into you know how much i appreciate vehicles uh when somebody really puts together a theme and it's not about just having something different or modifying it or tweaking it um, it's you know making changes with uh, the end in mind and this is something that is just designed front to back beginning to end top to bottom to um, really just capture your attention and it, it does that and, and i really appreciate that about it so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the video please do it like and if you haven't already please do subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys <laughs>